it's raining features at Notion this week. And this time, it's colorful. So there are five new features that just dropped and it's all available. So the first feature is the progress ring for databases. So Notion decided to ease the process for creating progress bars with a progress ring or a progress bar. And this works with both number of formula properties. So you'll notice that by default, it divides by 100, which you can change. What's more, you can choose to show the number or hide it and change the color to one of Notion's themed colors. With the progress bar, it's exactly the same and you can do all the similar customizations that you can do on the ring. So there's one thing I'd like to add here and it's that you can use a formula with a ratio with some columns like completed and goal and keep changing the baseline goal each time in which case you just need an additional column. So a ton of us are always on the lookout for simple icons rather than the stock emojis that are available inside Windows or Mac. So Notion stepped up and released a set of nice looking simple icons that work on both light and dark modes. And now they give us 10 colors that you can configure the icons to. So this will make sure that the entire team can use consistent sets of icons rather than some random ones drawn from the web. So where I'd love to see Notion go is in creating dynamic icons that would change according to something like a date or the weather. I've always felt the nuisance of images being set to the light and wasting a ton of space when standing alone. So the combination of column blocks that was released earlier with the option to left, center or right align images is such a welcome change to provide a cleaner view when you want it. So with this, they seem to have introduced a small icon for captions so that it's slightly easier to add captions. The next feature allows for setting up a template as default inside of Notion for the view you're in or for all views. This is a great way to save time, not having to constantly fiddle with the relations and select properties while adding records. So for example, I use chapters for my Notion video scripts, which I want auto linked to my scripts and backlink to know how long the video is going to be. This is where the default templates help me save on data entry and linking. And so all of this allows me to just focus on writing rather than fiddling with relations and rollups. So you can find more update related information by watching these videos on the cards on the screen. So if you want to stay updated regarding some mind bending functionality within Notion, consider clicking on subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified.